Hi Sherry, this is Jeff once again with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with me earlier today. And as promised, here's your website analysis. We'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. Let's go ahead and start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo here, you have call to action, pretty good photos, nice layout, and good amount of content. You also have client testimonials, which is perfect. So there's actually just a few things we're going to get over for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you'll look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So Let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. Alright, so currently you have 549 words. Not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I would like to, uh, to talk about are keywords. So Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofers in your area, and we'll talk more about the results that we have here. So starting off with the first one, um, these are what we call the map pack. This is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of traffic a lot of attention and are easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where, wherein you'll enter as much information as possible, like the phone number, company name, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, so on and so forth. And also if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Um, moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are actually all the websites that ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of your top competitors' website and let's see what, I, what they actually have differently. Looking at their website, they also have their logo here, call to action, good photos, good amount of content, nice layout. So let's just dig deeper with the numbers instead. This is Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll talk more about the numbers, so let's start off with DR. So this would be the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, this or other website that refers to your website, so they're like, you know, shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages. Yelp and alike. I also have your competitors um, website pulled up here so we'll be comparing the numbers and we'll actually see what they have differently. So as we can see you actually have more numbers with DR and UR which actually means Google finds your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. However, their edge will now be on the backlinks and keywords since they have more backlinks and they also have more keywords, which actually resulted to more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords and let's go ahead and discuss the importance of this too. Starting off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains. So as you can see, these are all the you know directories they're currently listed on that brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking higher in the searches. Next would be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for the specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting with the help of each keyword. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So let's use this photo as an example. 
So if we save this photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name with all this, you know, letters and numbers, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword and you can do the same thing with the other photos you have on your website. That way you'll have more keywords added to your website and not only that, for those words as well to not to be repetitive on your website. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking would first be the amount of content when we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks when we're going to add your information to many more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and of course, the higher chances of your website to appear on the map pack. Last but not the least will be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website easier and quicker. So that's actually all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us or email us back so that we can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.